So Lewis, you were accepted into the McLaren Young Driver program at the age of 13. I want to know if there was a point in your youth where you believed or realized that you would perform at such a high level one day. Yeah, like being realistic. Like I always believed that I could be great, but I just wasn't ready, basically. So I didn't feel in that moment when I was in 2003, for example, that I could just skip and go and beat those guys. And so it wasn't until like probably 2006, I really knew, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to go now and I know I'll be great and I'll beat them. Amazing. Well then, it didn't take very long. Two years later, you won your first world championship. Yeah. And you also became the youngest world championship winner in history at that time. Yeah. So for young people, young drivers out there, what advice would you give them if they would like to follow in your footsteps? Um, well, I don't want to sound like an old person, but <laughs> I think, and just remember me as, as a youngster, I was in a rush. Yeah. I was always in a rush. Like I want to get, I was calling McLaren all the time. I was like, when can I get in the Formula 1 car? When can I get in? When can I get in? I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I wasn't ready, but, <laughs> and I just know when you're young, you just want things now and you want it quick. But I'm really grateful that they held me back and let me grow and make my mistakes. So when I look at youngsters today, I'll say, look, there's so much time, don't rush. Being the first 17 year old in Formula 1, it's not going to be good for you. I would say just take your time, bide your time, learn as much as you can. That's, you know, the, in those earlier stages, GP2, Formula 3, Formula 4, those are the like the studying classes where you learn about mechanics and that's when you learn how to engineer. So, and then just, just continue to believe in yourself, you know, and hope that you fail as many times as I did or more, because yeah. that's, that's how you get good. Puma and Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula One team have had a really long and successful partnership and that you've been part of that partnership since 2013. Yep. You won your first F1 World Championship with Mercedes in 2014, wearing these boots. It's like literally so, it weighs nothing. Yeah. It's like a sock. I remember when I got to Formula One, my kit was so heavy, I wasn't with Puma. And I remember seeing the drivers at Mercedes and I think I was in a press conference once with them and I was sweating like I was really like I was so hot in my gear after the qualifying or whatever it was and one of the Mercedes drivers was sitting next to me and their stuff was so light and I was like what the hell like how is your stuff light and and breathable and yeah. mine's not and so I really cranked down and, and when I joined this team the good thing with Puma is they're really forward thinking their innovation they were really focused on tech and, and I was like, great, let's work at it. Let's make this the best kit that we have. And at the time, we wanted to have the lightest boots out of every brand, basically. Okay, great. So in your Puma Only See Great interview, when you spoke about greatness, you mentioned leaving your mark on this planet. And Puma have been able to equip a lot of incredible athletes, like Usain Bolt, Clyde Fraser, Pele, yourself. When you look outside of Formula One motorsports, uh, which athletes would you say have really inspired you? Tommy Smith is someone that I really admire as well. I think, you know, the really just for the human step, like he really took a whole risk for his career. Mm -hmm. And what he did on the, the, the black empowerment he did on the, on the podium, which is such an iconic image. And then after that being banned, you know, because there's a pushback, you know? And those are real realities for people that try and stand up against something, a system that is not comfortable or is so comfortable in how it is and is not open to, to change. And so even for me to take the knee in 2020, even though it's so much later than what Tommy Smith did, that still was nerve wracking. I remember in that moment and I remember walking out and I was the only one with that top. And I just think, okay, I'm gonna get there's going to be blowback from this. There's going to be a real kickback, but I know this is right. I've got to follow my heart. And I'm really, really grateful because it was received well. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, so I wouldn't be able to do that without people like that have, that have taken a stand. Okay, so I want to take you back to 2020. You've mentioned Black Lives Matter. I know that you're passionate about talking against racism. And in 2020, you were able with Puma and with Mercedes AMG Petronas Formula One team able to come up with this concept, which is the black race gear. Mm. When you look at it now, I want to know what the feeling was then, but also today, looking back at it, do you still wear it? How does it make you feel? But just like, I'm so proud because obviously I know the deep 
meaning of it, but then I remember the journey of getting to that point and how nervous I was and having those conversations and, and feeling like I'm pleading, but you know, asking for the support of the team and for them to be like, yeah, we're we'll with you, we'll do it. Like, what did you say? You, you, you know, so I remember getting the calls. <laughs> I was at my dad's house when they, then they called and all the board agreed to changing the car from silver to black. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember, obviously I didn't show in that moment on the call, but it was really emotional for me. I can, I just couldn't believe it. So I was very, very proud that the you know, Mercedes was so supportive and they were so, I wasn't surprised that they were supportive because they supported me since I was 13. Mm -hmm. But that was a, it was a big stand, it was a big change for everybody cool. to make, so. And I think ultimately it looked so much better. <laughs> you know, we've gone back to silver in 2022 and I don't, everybody in the garage when we got to the first test, everyone's like, oh, the car doesn't look as good. Yeah. <laughs>